Uh, Star began when a lot of people with the same passion for building rockets who were very driven came together to form a group where they could make those ambitions a reality. Um, and that is what you see here. And we hope to continue to make a difference in the space community here at Cal. Uh, I joined Space Technologies and Rocketry because uh, ever since I was little I'd always been interested in astronomy and rockets and pretty much anything that had to do with space. Uh, and I remember showing up at the first day of uh, freshman orientation and they had a table set up with a rocket and I knew immediately that I would have a place at Berkeley to call home. When I first saw CalStar, I said, hey, why not? And I was really like nervous going in because I pretty much knew nothing about um, rocketry. And, but it was like a really nice environment. I learned so much and I just found that it was like a great place for me to like actually get stuff done and then learn a lot while I'm at it. So I joined Recovery and it was, it's been a great experience. Okay, so uh, last year I was going to a club fair and I saw CalStar. And I didn't know that I wanted to do rockets, but as soon as I saw the club, I knew I needed it in my, in my life. So that's why I joined. As part of our student launch effort this year, I worked on the payload electronics, which involved uh, se separating the payload from the main body of the rocket and landing it upright. And during descent, I would also track several colored targets on the ground um, through a camera located in the nose cone. So this year in CalSTAR, I was a member of the recovery team. Uh, we worked on parachute deployment and the avionics bay of the rocket. Uh, that comprises of the electronics that are used to deploy the parachutes and make sure that the rocket lands safely back on them. So this year, um, like I said before, there was a lot of stuff thrown our way. Uh, we had rain constantly preventing us from launching. That was a big issue. We had a catastrophic failure of a rocket launch which meant we had to rebuild most of our rocket within a two-week period, um, as well as just issues with funding in general. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? I think my favorite thing about STAR has been the never say die attitude of all of my teammates here. Um, people are not only ready for challenges, they embrace them and they almost never give up. It doesn't matter where you start, it doesn't matter what your experience level is, you can accomplish anything you put your mind to at any point in your life. And I think a lot of us learned that this year, no matter what our skill levels were, how busy we were in school, um, and what got thrown our way, we could do the impossible. And I think that's a really valuable lesson in life, that it's not too late to start something, and you can do anything you want, just like they told us when we were kids. And I feel like that brought us closer, that those late nights in of the RFS or in Bechtel definitely brought the, the club a lot closer. And then there was a lot of interaction between different sub-teams. So what I want to talk about is our outreach um, this year. Um, first, we reached about 300 kids, so this is like future generations. Uh, we inspired them to go into STEM and how STEM is a lot more than just math and numbers, and it's a lot about having fun. I'm excited to uh, hopefully be the safe toss for next year so we, uh, we can make sure that using liquid fuels uh, will be safe again next year. Um, I'm really looking forward into this next year growing a lot as a team. We have, we've learned so much this past year and it's really gonna help us shoot forward this next year, getting new members um, and, and then transferring the knowledge that we gained through this whole year and really making it easier for other people to join and learn about rockets and learn about um, propulsion and payloads and I think it's gonna be a really great opportunity. Not really gentle,